I am a writer, gamer, podcaster, just an all around creative. I would honestly like to call myself a creative navigator just because my niche is learning new things. So anything and everything that is different from what I already know is going to always spark my interest. With that being said, I would like to share some books I am currently reading and have not finished yet that are changing my life in the beginning pages and chapters. And I honestly have to say, books that do this, aware, aware. How can you create such a magnificent piece of work and it speaks to someone before they even get to the middle part of your book? You know what I'm saying? It's just cool. First up, we have Healing Through Words by Rupi Kaur. Honestly, this book has strengthened my writing hand. It has steps and exercises to help you reach deep within yourself for words you may have thought or words you've spoken to yourself. Hesitate to put on paper. In other words, writing is the essence of freedom. Next up, we have The Art of Focus by Dan Co. So <laughs> I have this thought that Dan Co. literally sits by my window and airs out all of my dirty laundry. <laughs> At least that's how this book makes me feel because that's how good the book is. I relate to every page that I have read so far. My creativity was caged and tarnished through my upbringing, but this book has allowed me to think beyond the core of my environment. I am free to think and learn beyond the upbringing of my life. I am free to feel all of my feelings at once and use my curiosity to strengthen my knowledge of every aspect of my life. I am free to focus on my art. Another Ruby Core book, Bow, Homebody. This is a part of her poetry collection. So if you don't know who Ruby Core is, now it's time to look her up and get all of her books. Give her your money because I can guarantee you, you will be changed. I am encouraged to write more after turning the pages of this book. Ruby Core has a way with poetry that I am beginning to obtain myself. I honestly love the style of drawing that she uses to illustrate her poems. One of my favorite poems in this book, if you tried and didn't end up where you wanted to go, that's still progress. The amount of times that I've tried and other people, not even me, not even self-sabotage, but other people would try to discount my progress. And it just, I got to write. <laughs> I got to write or else I'm probably going to lose it. Writing saved my life. I Am Moved Deeply by Homebody by Ruby Core. This one's a toughie. The final book for this video, The Mountain Is You by Brianna Wiest. I am struggling to get through this book, and that is the honest truth. I've started from the beginning several times. I'm not gonna say how many because it's gonna just, <sighs> I have highlighted paragraphs and stains from my tears on some of the pages because the mountain is me. <laughs> If you are struggling to articulate your thoughts and you need a push to take a step towards something, whatever that something is for you, these books will encourage you and guide you. I am certain to live a creative life, we must lose our fear of being wrong. Joseph Chilton Pierce.